Hello! Welcome to the Polyglot Files. My name is Michael and today we're doing a video as participation in Language Jam, or Lang Jam for short. For those who don't know, Language Jam is an event held in the language learning community where participants are assigned a language at random and they study that language for anywhere between 24 to 72 hours generally over the course of a Friday, Saturday, Sunday of a weekend. This is the third or fourth Lang Jam that has happened, and the focus of this language jam is indigenous languages of the world. The language I have been assigned is Kermanji, also known as Northern Kurdish. It is spoken by about 15 million speakers in southern Turkey, northern Syria, and northern Iraq, in a region that is also known as Kurdistan. Since I have a wedding this weekend and I am not able to participate fully in Language Jam, I instead have decided to do an hour study session to see how much Kermanji I could learn in that amount of time. So without further ado, I have an hour on the clock. I'm going to see how much Kermanji I can learn in that hour and then attempt to speak some afterwards. Oh. I think I posted about this on my Twitter, but I absolutely hate learning the alphabet in a language. I would rather just learn the sounds. I, as, as, you, singular, to, to, he, she, it, el, el, we, am, am, you, plural. So Kermanji is related to Iranian, which I studied for a semester in university. I did not do very well in that class because the alphabet used in Persian absolutely killed me, but I'm happy to report that Kermanji uses Latin letters, <laughs> which is great because I don't have to try and learn a whole new alphabet in an hour in addition to learning other Kermanji words and phrases. Um, you are a student. To Hondekari. Yeah. He, she is a student. El Hondekari. The problem with learning indigenous languages is that there are often a lack of resources. So, what's happening right now is I'm trying to figure out how to say teacher in. Kermanji because I would like to say that I am a teacher, but I'm not able to figure out how to pronounce the word teacher properly because it's not available on Forvo, which is my go-to pronunciation dictionary, and I don't necessarily trust Google Translate to give me an accurate pronunciation of the word. This website's actually really cool. So I'm working on lessons from learnkermanji.com and they have, I believe, like 12 to 15 lessons and they give you an explanation of what's going on. They give you some vocabulary and then they ask you to complete some exercises to practice. So if you're interested in learning some Kermanji, definitely check out this website and I will actually leave all the resources I used in the description box below. One to one million, we don't need that much. One, yek. Okay. Two, de. De. Three, se. Se. Four, cha. Yek, de, se, cha, hans, ha, no, ses, has, ha, ha, has, ne, de. In this lesson, we will learn the second form of these pronouns. The second form of the pronoun is used in many situation direct and indirect objects, options at the preposition. Uh, for now, before we need to mention conventions and pronouns have gender. Grammatically speaking, okay, cool. Excellent. Ooh, I have 18 minutes. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna go well. I'm starting to panic a little bit. Okay. Well, this is 
is the second time I'm throwing my writing utensils around. Yuck. Ah. Okay. Okay. Let's see how much of this I can do. So I'm closing my laptop. I'm closing my book. I use my Russian notebook for blank paper. I'm closing my book. My cell phone is off. And the only page I have is my prompt page to let me know what I should, in theory, be able to say. So here we go. Let's see if I'm able to say all these things. Merhaba. Nave min Michael e es Kanadi me es be Toronto me. I think that's how I say I live in Toronto or I'm from Toronto. No. Es G G Toronto me. Okay, moving on. H Es bistu haft salime. Es ne handekar im. Es mamosteme. Es be bavemin diamin u beri beri kemin dejin. I know I screwed up brother there. I don't remember how to say brother. Um, one to ten. Yek, de, se, char, panj, shesh, haft, hasht, ne, de. I feel like I cheated on numbers one to ten because those are very similar to Persian. Um, objects. Ooh, pen. Um, nivi, stoguk, heya. Tasek heya Telefona Beri Keyek heya Komu Terek heya Mesek heya I don't know how to say thank you or goodbye. I didn't get there. But thank you and goodbye. Okay, so I think I might have screwed up. Hello, I know how to do. Merhaba. Es bi bavemin diamin u birayemin dejin. So that was the only one that was hard. Number one to ten, I got the objects I think I mostly got to. Whew! Okay, so not amazing, but really not bad for an hour. I think that this is actually a very interesting language and I would consider studying more of, um, of Kermanji at some point in the future. I think this is the problem with Language Jam is a lot of different people are introduced to languages that they wouldn't necessarily study on their own and then BAM, these people are like super interested in the language that they were assigned for the purpose of the competition or the purpose of the event, it's not a competition. I'm pretty pumped that I was able to learn um, this much Kermanji in an hour. If you have any language jam experiences um, from this language jam that took place on July 27th, July 26th to July 28th, 
Leave them in the comments below. If you're interested in participating in the next language jam or you would like to learn more about it, I will leave all the contact information for the website and for Sandra, who is the woman who runs language jam. Um, I will leave I will leave all those details in the description box below. And um, if you speak Kermanji, let me know how I did. And if you have any suggestions about how I can say things differently or how I can pronounce things differently, because obviously it's really hard to learn a language in an hour. Thank you for watching The Polyglot Files. Don't forget to check me out on social media. I have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. I guess I should dance, right? It's been a while.